Hey guys, this is, I know this is totally random, but I can actually make paper dragons, and here's a tutorial if you want to make a paper dragon. First, first, take a piece of paper, and just roll it up. Also, the ingredients you need is paper, need paper, scissors, tape or glue, I use tape, and coloring supplies or, you know, whatever, I, or drawing supplies, like, I use marker, you can use whatever you want, so first, we'll roll this up, I can't do it on camera, but you roll it up, you roll it up, be right back, okay, I'm back, and this is what it should look like, I actually decided to cut some pieces off, I don't know why, I just did for some reason oh and also you fold this in half i'm not sure if i can do it on camera i'll try to but you fold this paper in half i'm gonna catch you right back when i'm done with it okay guys i did and now we just gotta do the same thing to another paper i'll be right back when this paper should look like this paper it should look exactly the same. Well, similar. They should, we should do the same step for this. To make the jaws of a paper dragon. And don't forget that I'm going to, you know, roll it up. Get off camera. So I'm going to go off camera. You know, be right back. Hey guys, I'm done with the rolling. Now I just got to fold this in half. I wonder if I can do it on camera. I wonder. It's just not cool because I don't have a camera stand plus that I use a phone N not a camera stand I don't even know my, usually my phone is pretty small so it won't usually it's not the best on phone stands I'm not very good at phone stands that's usually why I don't like recording videos I always mainly I always use one hand in the videos that I use two hands like my like my one of my parents are recording it for me or maybe they were just recorded the video themselves and posted it on my channel. Those are good re Those are the reasons. Could be reasons. And I tried. It's in half. Half, as you can see. Now, next step. Get another paper. But no, you're not going to roll it. You put them, the paper thing on. The thingy, the paper thing you cut in half. And use a pencil or whatever you have to trace it. I'll be right back when I'm done tracing. Hey guys, I'm done with the tracing. I'm not a good tracer. Okay. Now here is where these huge scissors come into play. I'm going to cut them. Be right back. Hey guys. I'm... I've cut it out. And now... All you gotta do, you know, is tape it on. I just gotta tape it on. Be right back. I can't do it on camera. I'll catch you in time when it's done getting taped. Guys, I taped this. And this is also gonna be the top jaw. Now, guess what? I'm just gonna get a paper. Get this out of the way. You'll trace it again. Be right back. I'm gonna go back to tracing it. Okay, guys. I traced it. Well, I cut it out, but there'll be something different with this one. Be right back. Okay. I cut it out, but now there'll be something different that I could. I'm not sure if I can do it on camera, but I'll try my best. Okay. You gotta do something like that. Flip it upside down. This will be the inside of the mouth. That's supposed to be. This is supposed to be for the inside where you cut it. So I'll be right back. I'm going to tape it on the dragon. Guys, I am back. And I also added some nostrils and eyes to the dragon. Because absolutely, just why not? Okay, I taped it. Now there's a next step. You just got to cut that off. So I'll be right back when I'm trying to cut it. Okay, I cut it off. This is the upper jaw. What do you think? It's terrible, I know. I actually don't like it very much, but I just try. That's usually how the, I feel like that's usually how noobs make the dragons. This is just a tutorial. Now 
you get this. The other one, remember? Don't worry. This is going to be the lower jaw. I'm not really good at controlling the size, so the hands aren't the best. Okay, now I've just got to trace it up. Move this guy out of the way. And then we got to trace it and do uh, the exact same thing I did to the other one. Except adding the eyes and nostrils, because this is going to be the lower jaw. The dragon is just going to be white. You can color it if you want. And also keep in mind, it has to be clear. Okay? It has to be this kind of paper. Because one time I just tried it with lined paper, and guess what happened? It just didn't work. It just didn't work for some reason. So, also, uh, how I learned to do this is, guess what? From a different tutorial video. So, for everyone that, you know, watches a channel called Zoster Dragon and have been asking for a tutorial, and if, you know, you, here's a tutorial for you. I haven't got this idea long ago. Be right back. I'm going to now tr start tracing the marker. Be right back. Okay. Back. Traced it. One, two, three. And cut it. Now we got to tape it. Okay. Now I'll we'll actually start taping it. Okay. Got the tape on. This one's incredibly terrible. But I tried on it. It's terrible. Terribly taped on. But just, can you guys just, I hope you guys don't mind that. It's just, I'm just terrible at making dragons. How big is it? I'm, I got to take it compare the size to know which was going to be the upper jaw. Too late. This, well, like, if that won't be the upper jaw, then I'll have to cut some of it off. Let's kiss this side. It's difficult. They're basically the same size. So, yep, this can be the underjaw. But you know what? I'm actually going to cut some pieces off just to make it the underjaw. Because not only because of that, because of that. Be right back. Okay, I cut some of it off with the scissors. Cool enough. I don't really need to mention that. But this is a tutorial video, so you got to know how to make a paper dragon. Because this is the video. Perfect. That's the reason why you're watching this. That's how to make a paper dragon. Look at the eyes. Yemen. The eyes. Ooh, the eyes. Okay, they're kind of cute in my opinion. The nostrils shouldn't be there. But I put them there because why not? They're actually the not the reason why. The reason why I usually don't like tape is because you can't draw over the tape. And I had to draw the hair. That's what's so good about using glue. But glue just usually doesn't work. When I first tried to make a dragon, I used glue. Well, I tried to use glue. It was terrible. It barely stuck. So then I later had to use tape. And then, you know, it worked. I mean, that just takes for it just takes forever how to make a paper dragon. Once you're ready. So, yeah. Now we're going to trace it. Just gonna get the paper. And guess what I'll do? Same process as the other one. Okay. Now gotta be right back. I'm gonna trace it. Okay. I'm done tracing it. Now all I gotta do is cut it out. Okay, I'm done cutting it out. Now all I gotta do is cut this part with my scissors. I just gotta uh easy like if I did it the other time I should be able to do it this time like a little too little one again I don't like this very much I don't like doing things on camera oh there we go. Get the little jaw. And I gotta now tape that on. Be right back. I gotta, you know, maybe cut some edges off and tape it on. You know, tape it on the, the lower jaw. 
this lower jaw of the dragon puppet. Be right back. Okay, I just taped it on. Now all I gotta do is cut this piece off, so be right back again. Okay, I trimmed it up a bit. Okay, so the lower jaw is done. I just need to find the upper jaw. Oh boy, be right back. Okay, I found the upper jaw. Well, let's just try the dragon out. And then you just to take the jaws, this jaw, to this jaw. Just make it like a puppet, not like two separate dragon head. So this is how it looks so far. It just looks stupid, you know, but it's better than nothing. Looks so far like a dinosaur. Because dragons are basically dinosaurs. And I realized this needs to be trimmed off. So be right back again. Hey, I got done trimming the entire thing off. Now let's try it. Okay, very stupid. And now I'm just gonna tape it. Be right back. Okay, guys, I taped it on. As you can see, it just had. Now it actually won't fall off. And you can do whatever you want. You can add horns. You can do whatever you want. And I'm, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. You can add horns. You can add color. You could, some of the pros usually add cardboard, but I like making it only out of paper because I don't know how to use cardboard and I don't have any supply of cardboard. So look at those beautiful eyeballs.